When working with epoxy, make sure you are in a well ventilated place. You can be at home, you might be covered, but well ventilated on at least two sides, okay? So air flows in. Because even though epoxy's fumes are non-toxic, you can actually develop an allergy from inhaling those fumes frequently. Okay. One way to uh, keep your hands free of epoxy is using these plastic disposable gloves. You can get these from your grocery store to one size fits all. This will pretty much help ensure that you don't get epoxy on your hands. But if you do get epoxy on your hands, you can use vinegar to wash the uncured epoxy off. The vinegar stops the epoxy from curing. After you wash your hands with vinegar, you then wash your hands with soap. Make sure that you never get vinegar on surfaces that you will be working on or anywhere near the epoxy. Because one drop of vinegar will stop epoxy from curing, resulting in work that you can't use. It's a waste, both material and epoxy. In your kit, there are two sets of cans. Okay, the first can is the Pioneer Laminating Epoxy. Pioneer Laminating Epoxy is the glue that you will be using for gluing the parts of your boat. It will also be used to encapsulate all the wooden parts of your boat, as well as laminating the fiberglass that will go on the bottom of the boat. Okay, the next set of cans is Pioneer Epoxy Primer. Do not confuse the two because they're very different. This epoxy primer is a paint. This goes on top of your work, getting you ready for the top coat that will put color on your boat. Laminating epoxy has two components. One is the epoxy resin, which is marked as can A. And the second is the epoxy hardener, which is marked as B. They have a mixing ratio of one is to two. The first can has two kilos of uh, epoxy resin, while the smaller can has one kilo of hardener. It is important when mixing the two to measure accurately, exactly. That's why for this purpose, we are using a digital scale. These scales can be purchased anywhere and they're fairly accurate. This will measure an exact amount of hardener and resin that you'll be using for the boat. Since you will be measuring accurate quantities of epoxy resin and epoxy hardener, you would need to transfer these from cans into bottles because it's almost impossible to transfer precise amounts directly from cans and that is going to be really messy. Since we're going to be measuring out accurate amounts of epoxy, it's rather difficult to measure accurate amounts pouring from a can. It's easier to do so pouring from a bottle. One of the first things you're going to do is transfer the contents of your laminating epoxy into a bottle. Like this one, it's a five liter bottle. Okay. So this should be, you're going to use a funnel. This is an improvised funnel. It's important to mark your funnels depending on what you're going to use them for. This is marked as A for epoxy resin. Never mix up your funnels. And now we're going to transfer the epoxy from the can into the bottle. And now we're going to transfer the hardener, component B, into this bottle. This bottle has bigger nozzle than this one, so... Same color. As you can see, it's marked B. Never mix up your funnels. 